Hello everyone, today we are going to see adjacency matrix for undirected graph. Here we have graph with three vertices and this graph is here undirected graph. Why this graph is undirected? Because here we have this edge V1, V2 is equals to this edge V2, V1 that means edge by these two vertices this is edge is here E1, right? So that means this graph is undirected graph. Now this graph is a this graph having this loop and this parallel edges. So this graph is here multigraph. Now we have to represent this graph as a adjacency matrix. So for this we have here let if we have graph G with n vertices V1, V2, V3 up to Vn then its adjacency matrix is the matrix of order n by n where this element a i j are here number of edges between vertex v i and v j and a i j is equals to 1 for self loop that means here we have this graph is vertices with three vertices v1 v2 v3 that means this Gra uh, for this graph we have adjacency matrix of order 3 by 3 so now we will see here how to represent this graph as a adjacency matrix so this is here we will write this graph as a matrix of order 3 by 3 we will write here vertices v1 v2 v3 in row and in column here now we have to find all these elements now these elements are what number of edges between vertex now here we have to find how many edges from vertex v1 to v1 so here yes we can see that here we have no edge so we will write here 0 number of edges here from vertex v1 to v1 that is 0 number of edges from vertex v1 to v2 that is here 1 edge right then from vertex v1 to v3 v1 to v3 there is no edge so there here we will write 0 next from vertex v2 to v1 v2 to v1 yes this is the edge here we have one edge so we will write here one then from v2 to v2 yes this is a self loop from vertex v2 to v2 so that means here we have to write this is one here this is aij is a 1 for self loop now next h from vertex v2 to v3 yes we can see that here here we have two edges so we'll write here two next v3 to v1 h there is no h so we'll write zero next v3 to v2 yes v3 to v2 here we have two edges then v3 to v3 yes there is no age there is no self loop so we will write here 0 so this is we have find adjacency matrix for this graph right this graph represent adjacency matrix of order 3 by 3 that means adjacency matrix is the matrix between vertices to vertices now next we can see next example here we have this next graph here we can see that this graph is a simple graph because here we don't have any loop or any parallel edges now we can observe that we have here adjacency matrix now here adjacency matrix contains element only 0 and 1 right so this adjacency matrix also called as a boolean matrix since here we have only two elements 0 and 1 okay now here we have this two matrices here ordering of the vertices are here a b c d e so this is the ordering of vertices yes this is in first matrix here we have taken order a b c d e and in next here we have c d e a b this is here we can observe that c d e a b now we can observe that 
this two matrix are different that means as we change the ordering of this vertices we will get different adjacency matrix for the same graph right now from this adjacency matrix we can make some observations here for the adjacency matrix so first observation we can say that some of entries in the ith column or ith row gives the degree of vertex now and this is for a simple graph here we have this is here what is here when we have to check here column first this column a or this is row a we can check that sum of this element is here 2 right that means this represent this sum represent the degree of vertex now if we have to check the column b this column b or here this row b we can check that here degree of vertex is here degree of vertex this b is here 3 this is 1 2 3 that means how many edges incident on this vertex b so this is our first observation next diagonal entries are zeros if and only if there is no loop now we can check that here in this graph there is no loop that means there is no edge from vertex a to a or b to b so we have here diagonal entries are zeros right next here we have this matrix is symmetric now we can observe that this adjacency matrix here symmetric matrix in first example also we can say that this matrix is a symmetric here right that means if we have this matrix a we can we will get this is a transpose that means this matrix is a symmetric matrix thus we can say that adjacency matrix is symmetric for undirected graph now next is that adjacency matrix for graph g depends on the ordering of the vertices and there are n factorial different adjacency matrices for n vertices graph in last example we have seen here two adjacency matrix by changing the ordering of this vertices he says here we have five vertices so there are five factorial different adjacency matrices we can find for this graph now so we have seen these observations here next here we have this four given graphs these three graphs are here simple graph and this one is here multi graph since here we have loops and parallel edges now you can try adjacency matrix for all these graphs and you can check observations which we have discussed earlier so this is all about adjacency matrix for undirected graph thank you